صور بديك اوكي كان وي ستارت بليز I'm not sure why this one is more clear for me than that one. So I need Ahmed. I think I need to, to work more on this. is very clear for me that yes. you are using the exercise, you know, with, uh, with Marhamat. So I need here maybe more clarification. For example, with your project, you have a project which is, again, the club, right? Yes. Beside the, so maybe you go deeper into that. How we can use this VMG to uh, the club issue. Okay. Yeah, okay. No uh, migration. Okay, we didn't finish. Okay. Okay. You can continue by then. Yes. Okay, so uh, uh, we'll decide to uh, somehow uh, connect our uh, values so that's the first step for each of us. So we, uh, we talked a lot and uh, for example, uh, our best value is social. So we will try to uh, uh, go through all of these through social. For example, uh, Selma, uh, she will inshallah go to study journalistics so, so she will uh, collect data and uh, many other things so she will be good with media. For example, uh, yes, there is a uh, religion, uh, so uh, Zinetta and uh, uh, she will be able to uh, talk to many uh, people uh, who are connected to this uh, 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 to religion, so uh, because she is uh, in Iskra and uh, all those things. Uh, and uh, education, uh, so uh, uh, me and uh, Zinetta, uh, so she works as a teacher. And uh, me, uh, so we can uh, hold speeches, uh, lectures, and many other things. Uh, so we'll be able to end uh, very soon uh, and uh, uh, start. Then we are talking about bidding, right? Yes. 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 Okay. yes. So we will uh, uh, try to affect their uh, conscious, subconscious. So uh, their goal, uh, goal, goals. Uh, so the rise right in uh, awareness uh, uh, to affect subconscious. Uh, uh, occupy their time. So uh, there's the four things. So alternative activities. So if we uh, if we uh, uh, try to uh, uh, take their attention from uh, gambling, uh, we have to uh, have something that uh, will uh, put that uh, attention to. So it will be uh, uh, those alternative activities. So we have uh, put here many other things. So like. Uh, traveling to Bahrain. Uh, <laughs> I don't know who put this here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, do sports, uh, uh, camping, workshops. So we will do uh, as many uh, alternative activities as we can to occupy their time. So don't let them do gambling. Uh, do something that's useless for you. Uh, okay. Useful for you. Okay. Now we are in the third day. Thank you very much.
your enthusiasm to do it. Because if you put an um, action or any task that is with, uh, that's not related with your highest value, you will not uh, you will not work with. So try to find tasks related with the domain, with the goals to achieve it, and related at the first with your highest value. So for example, Hamza will work in this field, the education, because he likes to talk to the others and make the lectures and something. And here with the task, it depends on the uh, meeting people and make the workshops and lectures. And, and this is his highest value, so he, he will work well. Something like that. So this is the uh, action plan. And we started by the strategic goal. And it's, as I said, 2026, 20, so 10 years to achieve this strategic goals. And we divide it to the small goals. Mm -hmm small periods. Until that date, inshallah, they will finish the campaign. Inshallah. هو شاردغ علاه في البحرين تشاردغ The topic inside the khutbah. Uh, many people they sleep on khutbah because they don't link it to story. Yes, yes. Yeah, we need to, uh, from all these steps to make uh, the best. Yeah. So here, let's tell them you make khutbah. You need to prepare now lots of stories. Yeah. What's happening? How many people they got lost? Yeah. They lost their money. The one we heard from Arabella, from Arabella. I can tell you another. Tell you lots of people can tell you. Emotion, emotion yes. stories. Emotion stories. Yeah. Emotion stories. Yeah. I want to make it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, should be inspiring. Yes. Doing khutbah itself will not count for you. Okay? Counting uh, the outcome will count for you. The outcome, if you say tomorrow to the jury, 
طبعا فور الله سبحانه وتعالى هو بات فور ذا جوري اف يو تيل ذم ذا تاني خطبه دي ويل نوت كاونت فور يو دي ويل كاونت فور يو از ذات هاو ماني اوف ذا بيبول دي ستارت تو تشيك بيكوز خطبه كونتينيو تو بي ان ذا هارت اباوت ذس ايشو اند ذا يو فيل ذا بيبول هاز ذي سيد او افتر ذيس خطبه وي ستارت وي جون تو اور فاميليز وي ستارت تو توك اباوت ذس اند سو اند يو نيد تو ميجر ذس It all needs to be measured. Inshallah. Inshallah. Team, our team will will have will be succeed if all of you do their work good, because the quality of life will increase. If the betting shops close, if the NGOs or this organization work very hard and successfully, even if we discover a new entrepreneurship and give them chance, so the quality of life is like the basket of all of your work. In this team, we we just want to focus on one. It's like it's like a point. If you want to increase the quality of life, you have to increase the awareness of health. Mental health, um, um, your free time, uh, your um, uh, level of income, your house, uh, your social network. So it's a pie. It's a it's a pie uh, cut cut to uh, too many pieces. And because we have only five days a year, and you have inshallah uh, plenty of time until 2017, we focus on one model. Um, Dr. Mohammed always said, try to do model as a product, and then. Uh, try to sell it and copy it to other. Marhaba is one model, but inshallah in Sarajevo, in, in Bosnia, in Beirut, there are too many, uh, too many organizations, NGOs like Marhaba. Uh, the, the main point, the main goal is to empower the needy family to be self employed. 300 families came to Marhaba every day, want their food. We want them to give. Mahabat donations. We don't want them to be aliyad sufla, to be the upper hand. So the main point is the needy, empowering the needy families to be self-employed. How to do this? Identify the highest value for each family. For example, there is a man with his wife and children. The children is very small, but the man he can do something. He is in the middle age. 35, 40 years old, and instead of saying, give me money, give me food, we have to see what is the best, what is his capacity, and try to go to the NGO's team and try to find a job for him. For example, if they have a vacancy as a farmer or as, as a carpenter. And here you can apply what is Ahmed taught you today yes. about finding his value. Yes. 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 So, uh, everyone has have a unique point, we have to use it. Create a roadmap for each family. You don't, uh, we should not only find the highest value or what is his capacity and leave him. No, you are a singer, you have to use your voice. In what? In reading the read Quran or singing or what? Give him a roadmap for each family. At least we, foc we will focus for three families. Then follow up with the action plan to be completed by end of July 2017. It's not, it's not an easy to, to find the highest value, but it's not very difficult. Some people, it's, it is on the surface. Some people, it is, uh, you have to dig inside. So maybe we will find it easy and then give them the action plan. Uh, we have to cooperate with the NGOs and media with the NGOs by training and offering some vacancy and jobs, and by media increasing the awareness of the family. And that's it. You didn't ask if they want to say something. Uh, yeah, you want to say something? Okay. Uh, what, uh, for me, uh, I know uh, one uh, family who was in need and uh, they was very poor and uh, my uh, husband uh, who is imam uh, is working with them and uh, he tell them uh, to every morning uh, they need to uh, they are not in uh, in uh, islam they don't practice uh, 
Islam. Razumijete šta hoće reći? Ne praktikuju. They are Muslim, but not to practice. Yes, yes. And he tell them that every morning they need to thank, only they need to thank with the words to Allah in everything what they have. They have healthy children, they have, and to tell it every morning what they have. Only that. Uh, change their mindset. Yes. And they uh, they uh, want to have a job. Yes. 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 And, uh, well, and this is a technique that now it is uh, and what I call appreciative inquiry. Okay, it's very well known, especially in uh, uh, developing countries. Focus on the positive issues, yes. Yes. focus on the negative issues. Yes. This is what, absolutely. Excellent. Okay, next team. When you say thank, I will give you more. Hi, the uh, First, we're going to tell you about these stories. One of the generation of 196 and the generation uh, 56 uh, and generation 2016. Uh, they, in this year, uh, in the club, were just 14 of the guys who were under the age of 18. They had, they didn't have any support of anybody. They played for themselves. They played. Uh, they had a youth, teamwork, motivation, faith, limited resources, love, and the uh, in local club. Hmm? They played for the town. They played for the club. And now we have the same. We have the same situation. But uh, we also have the youth. Teamwork, motivation, paid limited resources, love, playing for the local club for their city. But uh, now we we can do. Uh, they did a perfect story. They played like 14 of them won the, the cup of Bosnia. Now this generation may do the, even the better thing. May go to your uh, champ European championship, whatever they want, just with us. Inshallah. Uh -huh. uh, so you believe that you can repeat history. Yes. 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 Why we use uh, Yedinstvo uh, as our uh, problem is that uh, we will uh, back the faith in our people. We are going to make some uh, good and better future for our young people. There will not be uh, a gambling and everything, alcohol and everything like that, if people will be uh, go to Yedinstvo and train that. Uh, and uh, there will not be a migration in other countries, in other uh, towns in Bosnia, and they will just be focused on Yedinsva and in Bosnia. Okay. Excellent. Yes. And wow. uh, here we have what we have done until now, because we chose this as our project. We have done a collection of data, which is survey, interview, and focus groups that we will continue to make each month. And then we analyze this. Mashallah, every, every month you're going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, influence of the United Club to be a part of our project. So now we have uh, accomplished the semi-cooperation with president of the council. So now the fans are being heard. They uh, have these focus groups to be asked what they would like to see a change in the club or how they would fix the situation. So we have a short-term uh, short and long-term plan. Short-term plan is to fix the stadium to fix the conditions there until uh, the July 2017, and the long-term plan is to uh, take them back to the top. Excellent. Okay. The thing that we have is that by this project, I believe we can connect all the five groups here because like, quality of life, they would go uh, out and play and be healthier or values, they wouldn't gamble and they wouldn't uh, do the things that are bad for them. Mm. Yes. Uh, I'm going to support Emir to avoid to uh, go back to uh, renting if he don't have money. Yes. He might yes. end up to go to Haram to go to rent uh, for the bar again yes. or for uh, the disco like club. Yeah. We are preventing him to go if nobody support him. Like we don't support him, he'll go back to whatever it used to be before. It's easy money. Yeah. Yes. Okay, we have film. Film is not only about. Uh, Volunteering. Film is, uh, is about Yedinstvo and uh, volunteering together. Because with uh, these two things, we are making all these five uh, groups together. We will uh, stop migration of youth uh, with sport, uh, with health life, 
uh, we will stop gambling uh, with health life because if we are uh, health in our heads, uh, in our spirit, then uh, whole our life is uh, good. Uh, also, um, we can connect all together because only together uh, we can do uh, good things and we can make uh, things better. Uh, if we remember these 14 guys, they were only of 14 of them uh, with no one's help. Now it's more more than uh, more than 14 of us, but these 14 guys from 1956 is uh, here we today. So only together we can make that uh, better, and I trust in all of us. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, uh, and I'm very encouraged. I'm not sure about Prof. Hazra. I'm really excited. And maybe inshallah on the fifth day, inshallah, we'll work together to bring uh, the minister and the rector mm -hmm. back here. Mm -hmm. Maybe by the I'm not sure the mayor over is, uh, we can bring to hear from you your result. And I feel. And you are going, mashallah, the speed uh, much more better than what I was expecting, alhamdulillah. So, thank you for all of you. Let's take again, right hand up. I'm doing it for you. Like this, huh? Like this. Like this. Like this. See, like this. Okay? Yes. Okay. Alone, we are weak. Alone, we are weak. Together, we are strong. Together, we are strong. We shall work together. We shall work together. As a family. As a family. In mutual trust. In mutual trust. And responsibility. And responsibility. My opinion. My opinion. Is of no importance. Is of no importance. Our opinion. Our opinion. Is of no importance. Is of no importance. Of importance, the only thing of importance is the reality. Is the reality. We, shall it. we shall change it with teamwork. With teamwork. Working for Bihaj. Working for Bihaj. It's all about teamwork. It's all about teamwork. Working for Bosnia. Working for Bosnia. It's all about teamwork. It's all about teamwork. Hey Bosnia! Hey Bihaj! Hey Bihaj! Okay. He's waiting for us. Thank you for again for everyone. And uh, I hope, inshallah, the second day of Eid will be, inshallah, a source of happiness for all of us and can flourish our life and make us more focused to deliver what we say legacy. Legacy means uh, ether. I'm not sure what you say it in Bosnian. Nasri Eje. Nasri Eje. Nasri which means when we leave life, either we'll leave uh, money, or we'll leave uh, children, or we'll leave deeds, right? And these type of deeds, some of people, de their deeds are, are negative. Some of people, are, their deeds are zero. Some, yani, the, some of people, de de their deeds are positive. Some pe people, their deeds are so much that uh, the world talk about it for a long time. And the, long, the bigger your deeds, the bigger your deeds, the, uh, the, the, the longer it will stay. Okay. The longer it will stay for a long time. So, inshallah, we will try to have a longer, uh, you know, uh, ether or, or legacy. Uh, because uh, this is what is, uh, makes us different in our worship, even in ibadah, in Allah. We just study all of you celebrated as Muslims. Uh, <laughs> So I was saying is that uh, I was saying is that in reality we we need to live uh, our life with with uh, uh, 
with the good worship. And the good worship is not praying only, or not all, uh, only going to our families and uh, visiting our families or being... Uh, the good worship for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is leaving this life uh, with the long legacy. And in order to leave long legacy, that means we need to improve our abilities. And I think uh, uh, Ahmed and Muhammad uh, just had the excellent uh, workshop was talking about how to improve our abilities by our mindset and by controlling our mindset and seeing the uh, big value that uh, Ahmed was focusing on. Uh, and I think also they focus about the goals. And your goals uh, is very important uh, in order to uh, create your legacy. And of course, of course, your passion. If you have your abilities are focused with your goals and your passion, you'll change the world. Okay, and this is what we heard in the last three days. But in the same time, we need to avoid lack of energy, lack of uh, difference, and lack, lack of direction, which we call it, again, avoiding what we call it, uh, wrong disruption. We need to create in our mind a disruption of creating a, a different mindset. We need to disrupt the logical mind, but not disrupt our uh, attainment to goals. And this is something that we need to work for, inshallah, through these projects. So the, the most important thing in order to create a model, why we're telling you this? Because we want you to create better models. Why we're giving you all this training and so on? This is not a self-development course. This is not a self-development program that you get in your uh, lot in your life and different. Even in schools, I'm sure that you have some of these. No, this is something that to help you to create a model. And creating a model is not easy, okay, from my experience. It takes, uh, first of all, foc it needs focus, it needs uh, commitment, it needs passion, and it needs, uh, at the end of the day, implementation. And this is why we say it is about spiral. The issue, and why we, we have this spiral, because it, it will, you will go through different challenges. The first challenge, challenge will create for you the second challenge, which is easier, and you see it easier, it's not easier, but because you get used to that, and you built your stamina, as I said, or your strength, in, uh, in this issue. And for that I say always the inspiration economy, the youth economy that you are talking about, you are creating now a youth economy. If this uh, program, inshallah, is successful, and we hope it is another uh, thing that we are working for, it will show that how much youth they, they can create and disrupt the capital economy. Now today we are, we are everything we talk about, we need money in order to create any change, okay? And everyone as we... Uh, We've seen in the last three months, everyone will go to them. They say, we don't have money, well, for that we cannot change, okay? But as you know, and you heard in the last three days, money is not the issue. Lots of people, they created from nothing, they created uh, something. And I think a good example of what Ashwaq Ba'ali said about that guy of the soap, okay? It's a good, a good example. A good example, if he created from nothing, so soap is already thrown. And he created from it a major project that is respected all over the world. So it is, uh, and for that you are either will be people that are inspired by others, okay? which is the first stage, uh, which will get ideas, we'll, get, we'll try to change our behavior and learning, and concentrate on life decisions and so on. And this is what, maybe I call it self-development courses. Okay? That's always focused about changing the behavior of someone. Okay? But in order to be uh, uh, what we call it, your economy, your economy or inspiration economy are talking about another state. And this is what we want from you. This is now what you are getting here, you're getting lots of here. But don't, don't stay here, because if you stay here, with time it will demo demolish. The more you create models, the more you'll be an inspiring leader, inspiring uh, youth that will create a, a real legacy. And here where we, we talk about the stage two, which is inspiring too. You can need to inspire either school or I inspire uh, Maybe a society or inspire uh, a, 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 a group of people that will do for you our club, for example, in case of uh, NGO or youth, military uh, youth, so that you create what we call a legacy. And this is what means that we need to reorient our sense, making and empathetic thinking, because we are all, always sympathetic. Okay? What Emir has spoken uh, or represented is more of empathetic thinking. Okay? Uh, sorry, sympathetic thinking. He's, he's, uh, we can sympathize with, with Amir, we can sympathize with migration, we can sympathize with quality of life, of uh, you know, the abetting issue and, and so on. But at the end of the day, if we don't really think in a different way, 
and start you to be selective in our way of sol uh, creating the model, then we'll not do anything. Just we'll be talking about it, and it will be only a knowledge, and it will not build what we call it profound knowledge. Profo the difference between knowledge and profound knowledge is those who implement it, not that those who talk about it, those who did lots of projects and created a, a change in their society. And for that, uh, we are building now active participation. This is what we are trying to do in active participation, field visits, networking, surveys, and then we're doing reflection and collection, uh, recollection of whatever we, we have done. It should continue with you all till uh, July 2017. And why do I made it one year? Because we know people who stay for three months, they will change their uh, behaviors. People who stay for one year from experience or from studies, they will change their attitude. Which one is more important, attitude or behavior? Attitude. attitude. Okay. If you change your attitude, your behavior will be easier. So for staying one year, just doing that. Like tomorrow, you'll never agree that you'll hear some, from someone anything without number crunch, without numbers. If you don't have a number, I will not listen to you. Because talking about theory, everyone, and sometimes we have a good talk show, but it, it doesn't matter. I will get very excited. And I always I remember an inspiration economy, a youth economy, our slogan. Enthusiasm is not enough. Repeat after me. Enthusiasm is not enough. Enthusiasm is not enough. Knowledge is not enough. Knowledge is not enough. Only profound knowledge is enough. Only profound knowledge. Through profound knowledge we mean data collection. We mean interview. We mean deep dialogue. We mean going and trying to implement a model and failing. You're gonna fail, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, boys and girls, you're gonna fail in the first time. But being sustainable, be, being persistent, and this is what will build for you the secret word, the most repeated word that we have in inspiration economy that I'm repeating in most of the books, or we are seeing in, in our journal and so on, the word called persistence. Okay? The more you are persistent about your approach, the more you're going to make a legacy. Okay? And this is the challenge that's going to face us, especially if we start to leave, and people around you start to leave you. And this team, shall I hope that. Uh, uh, Arabella and Amina team stay uh, uh, same and they have uh, uh, you know, more number of people but I will say about Iqbalati, mashallah they are always committed, they come on time, they are yani, attending all the activities and so on it will be very difficult Iqbalati, for you to stay uh, that much for one year okay? so it will be a very challenging in how much you can meet together, how much you can work together on this issue because we know life is like you know, a strive of river okay? so it will push us somewhere Yes, so making uh, really this continuous cycle of what we are saying, active participation, uh, field visits, and so on, will create the legacy that we are talking about. This will create for us what we call discovering together the ideas of inspiration and impact. Okay, because uh, inspiration is not about ideas, uh, it's about discovery. And discovery does not come with ideas only, it comes with thinking, different type of thinking. Okay, uh, when Kennedy said we'll be in the moon, he didn't have an idea. He had a, a, a type or a school of thinking. And he made people to go to the moon even though he didn't see that in his, uh, in his life uh, that uh, people would go, would go to the moon. But he said people would go to the moon. And then we have sustaining inspirational outcome with minimal resources. How we can sustain that? Also by producing model for the inspiration uh, targeted, which is uh, we target, for example, today. Uh, reducing betting, mitigating uh, the risk of migration, and so on. So what we are, we are talking about, these four C's that you want to show, what I'm telling you today is what is the jury will ask. Okay, because we're going to put the criteria for the jury. The jury will ask you, for example, how you raise the capacity of your society through your model only. It's not talk, they're not going to ask you that you have changed your uh, behavior. Okay, and betting and so on. They're telling you how you manage to, to do in one school to raise its capacity against gambling. Okay, Salma? How you raise the capacity of uh, that school so that it will have what? Like protection. Okay, against gambling. How you manage to do, again, the capability of the people. Okay? Which is they be more responsive. More responsive and agile. Okay? In order to be, for example, for the club. They are, uh, so that they no, don't go back very quickly again to the same uh, level that they are there. How we raise the competency, the readiness, the, how people they get ready, okay, to, uh, to again create a change uh, in your society. With, again, 
for example, the readiness of marhama, okay? And how you change, uh, how you made, uh, you built up the change, changeability, which we will talk about today, inshallah, the resilience. We are, uh, you have to be very resilient and when we try to make a change. You'll see, for example, the school that you are doing uh, work with, they might tell us, sorry, we cannot continue with you, okay? You'll get sudden cha yani challenges that you were not expecting. So expect the unexpected to be resilient. Expect the, uh, the unexpected to be resilient. Always I said, I, maybe, I think Arabella, she knows, always I tell her I have plan B, I have plan C, I have plan D, okay? Even if nobody uh, would come, for example, for this forum or for registration, I still I will manage to do it somehow, okay? This is my life has taught me, and always I have many plans. And this is the, the word resilience come from there. Even though I'm not a good, a good example for resilience when it comes to other things. So anyway, that's uh, very important. So we are talking about youth economy that will build for us holistic thinking. You are, you are giving an example of how youth will be, for example, they go from stage one, which is uh, they go through challenging assignment, what you are doing now, I'm, I am challenge even professors in universities that they cannot do. Okay? I'm, I am a professor in university, and I can tell you if I give this assignment to professors, they say, no, it is, we cannot do it, it is very difficult, and so on. But you have the spirit, you have the persistence that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala given you in this age. If you built it and use it in this age, really you will be changing the whole world, as Ashwaq Ali was emphasizing yesterday. The earlier we start, the stronger you'll be, inshallah, with your. Uh, uh, eleven, and this is what we call in this stage. We only want from you can do scholars. I think Hamad he, he uh, focused on that in in his last uh, uh, you know uh, uh, you know pause or slogan uh, at the end of the day. Then we have also stage two, which is learning by doing. So now you have the challenging assignment. You can learn by doing. You learn lots of things. You learn, for example, statistical techniques. You learn. Uh, how to solve problems uh, when it is arise uh, in front of you. You learn, fr frankly, from the school of life, which is always, I tell you, it is much better than the school of school. Okay? You'll see that school of school, it is something that you can still continue. Okay, and shall you, all of you continue to higher education and so on. But really, in the school of life, is much more stronger. Okay, and I can see really, frankly, with Kanaan and his team, they are, they are coming from school of life, more than school of school. And this makes a lot of difference for their future, inshallah. Then we will uh, also will have the learning and innovation, which, which means here that we start to change. Learning means what? Changing our attitude and behavior. So we'll start to change our attitude and behavior with time, and we'll be much more committed to create the stage three, which is here. We'll, be, we'll, see, we'll start to see things in a holistic way, and we'll have the holistic thinking. See, uh, when we try to make a decision, and this is, by the way, the level of the wise people. Okay? And for that, it's not about age. I might have a khbala that she is much wiser and see the world than me, which is I'm 53. Okay? Because she started, she gone through this, all of these stages. Most of the people who come wise, they have come through age sometimes. Okay? But uh, we can have young people, and this is what we believe, that they will, they will come maybe 18 years old, and they will start to see the world in different way. And I think uh, this is one of the symptoms of, of Bill Gates. Always I say, Bill Gates is much uh, even stronger than the late uh, Steve Jobs. <coughs> Why? Because Bill Gates, he have uh, uh, transferred himself, and I have written this in my book, by the way, one of my books. I said that Bill Gates, he did not go only build uh, Microsoft, but Bill Gates today, he have changed the play, the way that even uh, philanthropy, the uh, you know, charity organization they were, okay? F from the Melinda and Bill Gates uh, organization. Okay, the Bill Gates, they choose, they have chosen now, and now many organizations are trying to do like Bill Gates. They don't uh, uh, put their money in just feeding people, like Marhamat. No, they will be very selective in where they, in the, they started like this, then now they are very selective, and if you don't believe me, just enter, write uh, Bill and Melinda Gates, and you'll see what I'm talking about, okay? For example, they are the ones who participated in solving the Ebola issue. They're the ones who participated in solving the AIDS issue, okay? And uh, especially in America and Africa. So they have participated in different uh, areas where, uh, you know, uh, their selection and their, their type of selection have solved lots of problems. And Bill Gates today, he, has, he did not, he said, okay, this is, I'll leave it now for Melinda. Since I interfered and I made a success story, he left Microsoft, he, said, he left uh, philanthropy, and now he made a club for only those billionaires, okay? 
and he have now he's targeting to have uh, more than 1,000 in his club, over 1,000 millionaire. He's targeting to have billionaires, so not millionaire. Uh, and believe it or not, none of them is from the Arab world. Okay, just so, so that you, you know and that the people who, who have uh, billions does not mean they are uh, making a difference. Those who are in his club, and they call it the Pledge Club, if you want to see it in the, in the net also. The Pledge Club is about those who will uh, give 90% of their uh, uh, legacy or their uh, money before they die. Okay, so, for, and one of them, of course, is uh, Warren Buffett. You know Warren Buffett, right? The richest man in the world. He's the one, uh, he's with, with the Bill Gates on this uh, project. So I talk about, really, a difference of thing that will happen to us if we go through this process. What I'm going to give you is the secret of your economy. Okay? I claim that this is the secret of anyone who will create a US economy. And I'm opening it to the whole world. I'm writing a book about that. Uh, and I have written it in my book, but now I'm emphasizing that this will be, the more we focus <coughs> on youth in this area, the more we... First of all, that these people will go through that cycle of going through challenges, they will go collect data, they will be persistent, they try to create a model, and they go for one year only, they will have the power of observation. Okay? They will build up a power that is I am very strong in, because I learned this from my teachers, the Indian teachers, especially not the Japanese, okay? where they taught me how to observe things. And I can tell you how much they used to treat me. By the way, I'm very easy with you. you, you some of you feel I'm tough, but I'm very easy with you because uh, you are not yet used to this. But you know, in order to develop my power of observation, I used to go with them to factories, and, uh, and I come with selection of data, they close the door, they go and sleep, or they don't answer me. I knock the door because I need to solve the problem, because I'm paid, for, paid with them to solve the problem. And they used to tell me, go and solve it yourself. Okay, because they wanted to build up my power of observation. And from that, really, I started to do uh, solve lots of problems in a different way. So this is, by the way, very important power of observation will come with you. The more you collect data, the more you are serious about your observation, the more you are selective. Why you have chosen this person to interview and uh, not the other person? And then we'll see the power of variety. Our difference is being one group, okay? You should not have one type of thinking in your group. Okay? I'm warning all of you. Okay? You should have different type of thinking. The more you are different in thinking, uh, diversified in thinking, the better it is for you. Okay? Because it will give you again the strength of seeing things in different way. And then the power of willingness. You'll be willing to do things in different way. You'll be proactive, like our friend uh, when he now sold for me the microphone and so on. And this proactiveness skill. It's not available in everyone. It's only available in those inspired. Okay, how we know those, those people who are inspired? Because they will not take things for granted. Always I say, the definitions for, I always write in my book, those inspired, they don't take things for granted. They will not wait for something to happen or someone else will help me. They will move. They, if they see a problem in their society, they will move, okay? They'll start to do something about it, okay? They will not sleep overnight on it and they say, okay, it's someone else's problem or blame someone else about it, okay? And then we'll talk about uh, we'll, we'll see that, sorry, again, the uh, power of common sense. They start to build up the something that was with us when we were young. Since we were young, when we were three years old to seven years old, we were really thinking the power of, we're using the power of common sense. We ask questions, where is Allah? Where is Muhammad? Why I don't see Allah? We ask these questions that today we are not allowed to ask. Okay? Because the logical thinking has built, been built in us, uh, in us like this. Even though those who ask like this always, Al where is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? They are the most people who will be believers. And they will discover and will leave a legacy in the world. Okay? Because they will be always discovering. And then they will see, and I always I say this, like uh, we have a, a scholar called Mustafa Mahmoud. He's, يعني, he left a huge legacy because of this, uh, of this uh, question. And this is where we say, also, this, these are the main things. These are the main things, the power that you have. But the tomorrow you have the power of appreciating your capacity. You appreciate what you have. What is the difference between those who appreciate what they have and those they, do, they don't appreciate what they have? What's the difference? Anyone? Those who appreciate what they have? They're happy. They're happy, okay, what Thank else? Thank they will have more. Sorry? Thankful. Thankful, Thank yes. They will have more. They will have more. Okay, excellent. What else? Sorry? They will work 
Excellent. They will use it. Yes. They will use it. Those who appreciate what they have, they will uh, capital. We call it capitalizing. And I will go to organization. I don't solve the organization. Sometimes it's so complex. So what I do in order to minimize my failure, I, I could not observe what is the, their problem. So I capitalize on their power. Okay. I see where is their strength, and I start to build on their strength. I built all my project around their strength, strength because they could not find where I can help them in their weaknesses. So capitalizing in your strength is very important. It will help you a lot to solve lots of problems uh, around the world. And then power of feeling the need to hear. You feel always eager, and for that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about those scholars that who, what, they always, they are the most humble. The, most you are, the more you are a scholar, real scholar, the more you feel that you know nothing. Because they know the power of don't, I don't know, or I, I need to discover more than the power I know. Yes. They know the power of how much they are ignorant, more than the power of their knowledge. Okay? So they know how much they are ignorant. So what they do, you think? They sleep on it? No. So they work harder to discover more. Because they feel that there is lots of things to discover. And this is the power of what? Scarcity or abundance? Abundance. Okay? So it's hard to see the world. In different way, they start to see that there's a world, lots of things in the world that I, need, I can discover. And for that we used to say, we used to have what those people, scholars, who used to be encyclopedic in their, in their thinking. Okay? Why? Because they used to be scholars of Quran, scholars of medicine like Ibn Sina, Ibn Hazm, Ibn Razi, blah blah blah, Ibn Haytham, Ibn al and so on. All those Ibn, 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 okay? All used to be what? They used to be many scholars of many things at one time. Okay, so this is also very important and we remember this sometimes. And we thought all this time the whole world, now the whole world is coming back to, towards the holistic thinking. And for that, for example, the best education today in Finland. You know in Finland, again, you can Google this and you can see. Finland, they are cancelling the classes of what? Of discipline based. Or am I, uh, you know, specialty based. So they are not teaching mathematics and science separately. Okay, and uh, I'm talking about uh, high school. They are teaching now uh, multidiscipline, which means they will, talk, will go and talk, for example, about Finland history. But in Finland history, they talk about history, they talk about geography, they talk about math, and they talk about science. Okay, so this is an example of that. Why? Because they started to see, in a being holistic thinker, it is more near to school of life, not a school of school. Just teaching people one discipline does not mean you are going to change their life, or that doesn't mean they'll be ready. <laughs> for, for uh, creating a change in their life. Then we'll go to the, I will see that we'll be more humble, as I said, more um, coexistent and resilient. We believe that others, everyone in the world, even the Jews, even the Christians, or even everyone, okay, Hindu, whatever, still they can add value and they, we should not differ with them just because we are having different religion. Okay. Islam, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is very resilient uh, religion. The, our problem is that we don't understand it properly. Okay, Islam is the best religion. Islam is the religion not of prayer or for Hajj or for Umrah or for no. Islam is the resilience of accepting others. We are the people of acceptance. Okay, we are with everyone. We should ha uh, hug everyone. Okay, that in, in the street, but in different way. Okay, so that we have a problem hugging. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and then uh, of course, the uh, power of knowledge. You'll see that tomorrow. And you know, I know that teams are competing with each other. So each one is maybe having his own car. You don't want to show the other team. But you'll see tomorrow that your, your strength is sharing. And you can see intentionally, by the way, and we chose them projects, that each one of them is very painful for Bihar. But all of them, they cannot survive without one of them. All of them, they live on all of them. Okay? And this is the holistic approach. You cannot live, you solve the issue of migration, Prof. Elma, okay, without the issue of quality of life, without the issue of minimizing, uh, again, of improving uh, values, without the issue of uh, voluntary work. It's all of them you can see, they are very uh, hybrid and, 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 uh, and the same way holistic. And then the power of trust. You'll see that you're going to start to trust others. Because uh, why? Because you, you have built uh, the concept of seeing the, the big picture and being abundance in your thinking and then the power of focus. And here, well, many people, they tell me I cannot focus. 
How you solve a problem? How you can focus for a long time? How you are consistent? If I come to you in, uh, let's say in uh, July, still I will be focused and I know what is your problem, even though I might take maybe 100 projects, okay, other than you, okay? But still I'll be very focused as if I left with you. Why? Because I have these powers that I built over time. Not because I'm strong, not because I'm clever, not because I'm creative, I'm, I claim I'm not clever, I'm the uh, low, lowest clever person in this, in this room. Okay? But I'm persistent. And I have built these powers through practice and so on. And then the power of honesty and communication. By the way, this is the most important thing for failure. Always we say you want to create a healthy and, and value-added organizations or value-added teams. The most important thing in any, any team why it's not being healthy or can be healthy? The word communication. Okay, and communication does not come by pe making people only having their mobile, making uh, creating Viber a group, and so this is one of the tools, one of the small tools to create a change in our society. Okay, so I just I wanted to remind you now why we're saying this because inshallah through the uh, what we are doing now. We are building now team members, team leaders, and uh, we are having mentors, and you should prepare for the jury, and you are should, supposed to see that all of these are supposed to help you. Yani why do we make it team members? Because we need collaboration. Because if we say, okay, to team leader, and that's it, okay? We dealt with team leader, but we say, no, team members are very important, because a team leader, you should be very resilient to his team members. The more you manage to attract people and let them stay in your team, Especially if they are not paid, especially if they have other responsibilities, especially if they are involved with lots of uh, activities, okay? Then the more you can get from them a uh, uh, you know, result because of resilience. And then the mentor, the mentor is supposed to be, uh, always focus on the values of the team and help the team work towards the value and the jury, of course, will be based on trust. The jury will not say, oh, okay, show me evidences. I want real evidences that we will have done collection of data. If you noticed, I didn't ask you that. Okay, I don't know. Some of you said for many times, hundred sample. We collected hundred sample, hundred sample. Okay, I will not ask you why it's hundred. Why it's not hundred one? Okay, I don't care about this. What I care is that really you are trying to do something and you are sitting about this. With time, you will build up this uh, trust also with others, inshallah. Okay, so I think this is just I wanted to cover this before Doctor uh, continue for. Uh, the rest of her observation, which is she did not finish that. Okay. And you might give us an exercise. Values of life, right? Of life. Well, uh, I don't know. Um, I couldn't make all of those uh, things yesterday without these people, and maybe that's one of the values of life. Friends uh, and their support in our life, because um, three or four of them are with me in gymnasium, so every day we're together, and um, all volunteering in uh, gymnasium we're doing together, so I think that friends are one value of our lives. Thank you. Perfect, and yeah, this is linked to what Dr. Mohammed was just saying, that we always need a teamwork. He was saying that there is no team can work without the other, and there is no individual can work without the other. I can clap my hand perfectly with one hand. I will always need others to be with me. If I was alone here, I would have talked to myself. I'm in need of you, you are in need of us, we are all in need of each other. So yes, this is one of the most important, valuable things that maybe even if you're related to your team and volunteer or all other teams, we always need others to work together. So together we can work better in life. Okay, that day I talked about the concept of observation. Do you remember what was the most important thing, anything about the observation or we forget it all with that day? Can you remember anything we said about an observation? Nothing? <coughs> no one remember anything from observation. You remember something. 
Observation is a very important tool. We need it. We can't solve a problem without the use of power of observation. It's one of the most strongest power that we have it in ourselves. That when we use it, when I use observation, I even can observe what are my values are. I can observe what are my needs. I can observe what are the problems in this country. Then I can observe the data I've collected. Then I can observe the opportunities that I can bring. So from here, observation is the one of the most important things that we are talking about. And I think we've talked about this uh, last time where Dr. Muhammad has explained it and about the availability, quality, and efficiency that we need to work. Uh, and uh, these are things that I don't want to repeat myself. And here, when we talked about the unstructured approach, how important is it? You remember the exercise you made all about demands versus capacity or versus supply. supply. And did you find it was <coughs> easy to apply it in your uh, project? It was a good exercise. Was it useful? Yes. OK. I think I'm interested in this. OK. So through it. Observation, we find exactly what is the currency, the inspiration currency that we want. We find the really the area that we want. It's always like holding this uh, uh, microscope in your hand and uh, searching for it. So it's not using a normal observation. Oh, this is a room with the chairs. I'll just go and I'll go to the other room. There are lots of other and other ways that you can use an. Uh, use it and then you make it more focused and here where Dr. Muhammad he was talking about today morning that you need to be more focused. Being focused is not an easy easy thing even for who of us are Muslims and we practice pray we are trying hardly to do this five a day five times a day but we rarely do or even I'll talk about myself even being focused in a prayer it's not an easy thing. So imagine now all of us are sitting here and most of you are not focused. Diana's busy with her work writing uh, in her mobile, someone else following up their kids, following up different issues. So even although we committed ourselves, it's vacation, night time, we are here, we all wake up morning, we came with the intention that we want to be focused, but most of us are not focused. So being focused is a very difficult exercise. But the more, the more you train yourself, you will know about it. Even when we go in the teamwork, we can see that some, some teams are Focus, they know what they want, and sometimes we don't do it the right way. It's not because we don't know the answer, or we don't have it, or someone else is smarter as a tool. No one is smarter, but because when we get focused, we get immediately what we want more, because we just use this time in a more writer way. So when this Muhammad was saying yesterday, do one, finish, take one, do one, finish one, it's about being focused. Because if I want to t think of 10 things in the same one minute, I will focus on none of them. Okay, I need to know and start with end of mind where I want to go, but let me focus here and finish focus here and even sometimes going to be faster and there. And from there I'm going to find the solution that I want and I can generalize the model and publish model. As we were saying, all what you are doing in a project are models that we want to publish. When you want to do one school as a model, then you want to generalize it in other schools. When you are going to do it in a club that brings up the volunteers more than you want to do it in other NGOs and other things that were before you had it and bring it up because you want to repeat the good histories in some areas. When you want to do it in Marhamat, you want to do it in other places. It's about empowering people, not only for poor people, but even for all different type of people. And the most important thing, how we are going to publish this model. That's why when we are saying put it in a presentation, document it, uh, 
put it, uh, we are trying telling you to put it in a newsletter for those who are younger. We are having professors with you, so they want, they have to help you in publishing it in the paper. Because if you don't publish the model, it's going to be dead model. Who will know about your work if we end up a tier? You present a very well presentation. It was the most perfect one. And you have all your documents, all your flags, you have the presentation. Who will know about it? We. Just we. Even if we upload it in uh, the YouTube, another 100 will know, another 200, maximum 300, 400. But not more. But when you publish it in a document, it's there. It's a history that it's written for more and more people. It's try to advertise it in a different way. Okay, it will be published in a radio sometime. It's for some type of audience. But if you will put it in a newsletter, it's for other type of audience. But if you publish it in a paper, it's also for other type of audience. So make sure always that others know about your experience. The only way I'm going to learn from you when I know about you. If I knew nothing about you, I'm not going to learn. So please and this is here is the role of all of us and all of us have our different tools. I mean you can publish things, I can see a publish she's putting every day the things on Instagram. She's trying to publish it for certain type of a group, certain type of age in a certain way. But we need more explanation. But of course for other professor academics in the University of Bihaj, how many of other professors in the university knew about know about this forum? Even if they know there is a forum, but they know, don't know the outcome of this forum. The only way that will let them is they see publications out of it. And then not only University of Bihaj, but others. So I'm just, this is also a reminder of the newsletters, because it's another type of thing that you need to use. OK, and data collection and narrowing the problem. Did you find that observation was a good tool let you to narrow the problem? How can observation narrow the problem for you? You remember this picture how he always draw in every, every, every single meeting? You know it all? I'll just redraw it for people who can't remember it. Uh, we call it the Arabic al uh, Mahjar. Okay. 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 So we always we start big and then we narrow it and then we narrow it and narrow it and then we come up and then we come again. So can we do this without the method of observation? And how do you use the observation? how to start. We've done the first survey and then you collect data. When you observe it, you find it, it's too big. It's too holistic. You can't start. You can't find the points of it. Then, we, with more observation, we said, okay, let us observe where was the more gaps in the data. So we found that the most area that we can focus on 
was, for example, gambling. And then from gambling, we narrowed it down, and then we, you went for a second survey to do it. So here, how you narrow a problem, and then when you start with gambling, again, gambling by itself is a bit. So you start another circle again, because gambling, you can solve all the gambling problem. Then again, you say, which type of gambling? I'm going to focus on youth, younger gamblers. I'm going to focus on betting. No, I'm going to focus on betting around the schools. No, I want to do one school, so again. And then when you go in a school, again, you are going to have different type of children from different backgrounds. From Again, it's going to be a big circle. Inside it, you need to observe how to get inside this method. So it's about seeing things from different perspective. So don't see things as they are. It's about the main issue that Dr. Mahoney was thinking about. Don't take things for granted. Don't observe it the same way others. Sometimes observe it as a child there. Remember your childhood when you were asking things in a different way. The strength of the NGO team is because they are, they don't go with the idea that I have oh, lots of experiences in my life, so they are going in a more inspiring way for us. For us, I think, okay, because I have this much experience in my life, 10, 20, 30 years experience, so I know. So I want to put things in a logical way. So the more you have a mixture in your team, and that's what we were meaning, so the more even if you are a young team, you have some uh, people older than you with you on the team, and the other teams mixed there with the youth, you are going to have a different point of view. One of the main idea was mixing international people. Some people will say, okay, this is a, an issue of Bosnia. Why are we having international people with us? This is one of the things. We always say that if you are very close to the thing, you can see it. Now, if you put your hand here, all of you, can you see your hand in full? No, you need to look at it from far. Sometimes you need to go out of the box to see. So the mixture of things you'll have, it will let you to think differently. Yes, can you see it now? Oh, it's too close. <laughs> you only see a dot of your hand. You can't see the five fingers here. So look at the things from different angles, from different points. That's why we say always go out of the box. And I always say, have no box. Why do we need to have a box? We don't need to have to start with. So see things from different perspective. Look at it differently. Uh, don't deal with material as they are facts. Deal with things that everything you can change. I'm not going to read one by one because you will have it. But it's all about looking at things from different points of views, different ways, with different tools. Uh, now, visualization and observation by the GDP. So, uh, do you know what is GDP to start with? Okay. Per capita, per capita. Yes, per capita. So, yeah. Okay. So we, you all know now what is GDP? The younger, the youth. Do you know what is GDP, right? Adina? Brutto national product. 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 Brutto national and now here we are talking about GPI. Now let's remember GDP is about a measure, how they measure uh, uh, the country economic situation, okay? Uh, not only growth, economic situation. From GDP we can know what is the country economic situation just in one number. That's what uh, Dr. Aduni is tra uh, trying to tell you. And this is one of the observation ways. But now we're going to tell you about the other one. Yes. Okay, here we are talking about the GPI. GPI is about Gini's Progress in Indicator, Genuine uh, Progress Indicator, which measures required to create the productions. 
Does it make any sense for you? I think before I go on to this, I want to go back, uh, Victoria. Let's give them exercise, and I think they got started <coughs> to get uh, tired from our talk, and then we'll go to this. And now uh, this will be built on based on on uh, on this slide. So I want to give you an exercise uh, on implementing the process of observation based on uh, any of these. So for example, let's give you an example for your team. For example, inspiration and seeing things from different perspectives. So for example, the migration team, they should see, see things from different perspectives. Migration, is it really always uh, negative? No, it has some positive things, right? Without migration, I think uh, lots of countries would have not grown. Okay, whether uh, the country they are going for, or, uh, or even Bihaj. Lots of people who, who go to Austria, and we've seen lots of them, they came back with different ideas, and they wanted to implement it here in Bihaj. This is an example of the positive of migration. And for that, we didn't say solving the issue of migration. We said mitigating migration, which means we don't want to be migration, that it's like something stealing our youth or our knowledge, uh, our knowledge uh, of, the, of the country, and taking it, or, 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 uh, which is knowledge assets, which is you, human capital, and taking it to other countries after they get ready. Okay? We don't want them to take, for example, the best of our youth, which is youth that is already graduating from uh, university. Okay? This means that you are a country which is you are having big loophole in your system. This is what, why we said mitigation of migration. So you, you need to observe first what are, what are, this is how these are applicable. At least I want 10 from each team. Okay, you give me 10 applying of these in each team. Okay, and we'll give you 15 minutes for that, inshallah. Okay, I uh, expect the team leader uh, come and take a picture of this, so put it in your mobile, <coughs> and we discuss it in your table there. Okay, and we'll, we'll take 15 minutes for this.